Section 2, Getting Started with Unity 5. So in this section, I'm going to be going over downloading and also setting up Unity 5, and then we will be taking a look at the layout and the different menus of Unity 5 as well. So the first video will be downloading and exploring the Unity engine. The second will be the asset file tree and organizing the files. Then we will be looking at Unity's asset store, the hierarchy and parent slash child object relations, as well as the scene view controls, the inspector, navigation, and service side tabs, and the Unity preferences and play mode. Then with all those videos, you should have a good understanding of how the Unity engine is laid out, and we can start making some projects. So with video one, downloading and exploring the Unity engine, you can download the Unity engine, the main website for Unity 3D. After the engine is downloaded, just be sure to install the needed build packs in order to create your projects for multiple platforms. So I actually have the Unity engine downloaded already uh, right over here. I will show you the link to where you can actually go and download the engine if you need to, which is right at unity3d.com slash get unity slash download. Basically just choose the Unity that you want to get. I would recommend the personal free edition. This is really all that you really need. Hit try personal and then you can basically just download the installer by you know accepting the terms and agreements and then once you download it they will ask you during installation to install certain build packs these build packs are used to build out your projects for multiple different platforms so you don't have to install all of them uh, if you want to install all of them you can go ahead and do so but i would recommend just the pc mac android and ios build packs for this course once you have the engine installed and set up then we will begin a little tour right now so assuming that you have the Unity engine already downloaded, let's open it up. So in this area right here, this is just a list of your projects that we will actually be using to see the complete list of where you, all the objects that you have created. You can also log into your account and this actually gives you access to a bunch of different services provided by the Unity cloud. So for right now, we're just going to take a look at how to create a project. So in the project name, I'm just going to put down tour example. And we'll just make this here a 3D project. You can actually switch between the two different views here and the two different types of projects, either 3D or 2D. You can add some asset packages if you have some custom effects or different game objects. Uh, don't worry, you don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, this is just the target location in your directory and the organization is basically your account name. So when you're ready, hit create project. Unity will compile all the assets in the editor of the engine, and then it will open up the engine. So just a quick overview of the different layouts here. So right over here is the hierarchy panel. Uh, over here is the project window. Over here is the console, the animation windows. You can view some of your account settings right over here. Collaboration mode for when you're working on projects with other people. There's the services tab, the inspector, which I'm actually going to click and drag over here, and the navigation, which we'll go over briefly later on. This is basically just the layout that I personally prefer. Over here on the top toolbar, you can see the different drop downs for a bunch of different other options. You could actually add different components to the game objects. You can create a game object in here. However, if you wanted to create something, you basically have to go over to the hierarchy, drag and drop, or create an object right in here. Over here are basically a couple of different ways how to view the scene. So as of right now, you can actually just see it like in 2D. I actually think I set it to 2D, but it's okay for right now. But you can actually switch between the 2D view if you're creating a 2D game or the 3D view. And you can also use this gizmo right over here to see the different axes of the project. So you can see it from the Y, the Z, the X, or you could just see it from a flat perspective. So either way here, you can basically see a complete different 360 view of the scene itself. Whenever you want to do something to an object, you could basically use the hand right here to just navigate through the scene. You can click both the both mouse button keys down to actually navigate through a 360 view. If you want to drag an object in the scene, you basically use this button right over here. Rotating an object is this key right over here, and then adjusting the size of an object is this one right over here. This one here will basically just 
expand the object or just create a different scale for the entire object at once. I don't really use this one too much over here, but the hotkeys for these four different keys, Q, W, E, R, and also T. So those are the hotkeys, five buttons, not four, five buttons right here. Okay, so we are actually going to be diving into more of a tour of each individual panel in the Unity engine.